Hello YouTube, it's uh, Paul coming at you. It's been a while. Uh, I just said, uh, yeah, just thought I'd pop on, say hello. Hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas or Happy New Year. Or Happy Hanukkah for those that celebrate. Just, uh, you know, it's a trying time of year for some people. Others, uh, it's probably one of the greatest times of year. So, but uh, yeah, just have pop on, show off some cards I picked up uh, last few weeks. Um, most of it's a ship my cards order, which uh, has some of the usual bangers that uh, I like to collect, but. Uh, yeah, I'll show off what I've been picking up. Um, first, uh, I'll start off with uh, UD Canvas Evander Kane. Um, this is the black canvas. Uh, guy's a polarizing figure. He uh, seems to have a shelf life in uh, hockey. And. This is probably one of the rarer versions. Uh, it's the canvas black. So, uh, from last year, I believe. So yeah, picked that up. Picked up a four diamond. Uh, these are one in 400 um, from UD Extended, Lucas Raymond. And it's got a bit of a corner there. I'm surprised that they even focused. But uh, I've been picking those off. Uh, I've got a few more. Uh, Mason McTavish. Last year's uh, World Junior Championships. Or the, the summertime in 2022. I talked about him. I have a funny feeling. He's either going to be the, like, the next Jonathan Taves or the next Max Stomi. No in between. So, franchise player or guy that bounces around and gets acquired at the trade deadline. Um, picked up that. Um, the next uh, the black diamond, they have the two diamond. I forget, they're like 1 in 72 packs. Four diamond are 1 in 400. So, actually I have the McDavid. But, also picked up the Crosby, which is one in four hundred. Alright, cider. And Trevor Zegris. So uh, pretty much got all the rare ones down to just picking up like the the cheap cards. So it'll be fun. Um, next is pretty much oh, where did I put it? I did have it. Um, oh, here we go. One of the cooler cards I discovered recently. It's from, I want to say 2013-14 SP, but I believe it's, uh, it's it came out the year after, but it's a Ryan Nugent Hopkins uh, it's autograph. That's my favorite design of SP. You know, it takes me back to Grade 12, they had uh, um, Upper Deck SP was released. Current uh, coach of the team, Dave Manson. They're like one for Series 2 pack. Just a nice clean design. Um, so, yeah, nice throwback. Uh, the Nuge is having a good year in Edmonton. Team kind of is driving me crazy, but. They have been ruining my life since 1992, so what, what, you know, what do you do? Uh, the rest here, well, this is just a ship my cards. Uh, just, uh, it's like a mailbox I use in the U.S. Collect some cards and we'll get to the bangers, as the kids say. Uh, picked up an SP Excitement, Joe Sackick, 
Uh, baseball cards. I have this weird thing. I don't like Topps cards. I, I, they don't excite me. They Every now and then I find one of like my beloved Red Sox. But it's, I don't know what the deal is. Uh, yeah. So J.D. Martinez. Uh, just picked up the Silver Zenith. Doug Wait. Typically I wouldn't go for like cheaper cards that ship my cards, but sometimes it, there's just stuff you never see. Um, so. And then... So I got here. I'll just put the pile down. <laughs> so, uh, if you're a longtime Oilers fan or hockey fan, uh, Magnus PRE, uh, playoff contenders, uh, just an awesome design. You got the f silver foil, but for some reason, they numbered. Magnus PRE autographs out in 99. For what reason? Nobody knows. Um, the ones that are I see for sale, everybody treats like they should be out of 99 of like a top flight rookie from that year, which he is not. Um, you know, he lives on in Oilers folklore. Uh, one of the radio stations had the song called Hope, which stood for Hall. Uh, Linus Omark. Uh, Magnus Payari and Jordan Everly and how they were going to lead us to the promised land. Still waiting. <laughs> so now, now, um, every now and then I just throw a bit out on a card and I land it for no reason. I do like these uh, SPX Radiance, uh, limited to 100. I want to say it's from like a set called Pros and Prospects. But cool looking card. You got the old Florida cat. Uh, if you're on Instagram, Pat Bob Cursive seems to have gone missing in action. That was uh, one of his favorite uh, iterations of the Florida Panthers jersey. Had a hashtag uh, bring back the cat. Um, now, this card, see, I got a fingerprint on it somehow. It may or may not show up. But, uh, found this card. Um, Doug Lake, Mirror Red. And let's just kick the shit out of that corner. But oh, I'm scared. No. Oh. But uh, yeah, that's a cool one uh, for the Doug Waite collection. And then now we get into some. Other cool cards. Ah, go Red Sox next three. Uh, Montreal Expos, Pedro Martinez, Leaf Signature Series autograph. That's when I first became a Pedro fan. Um, there's a cool baseball card. It's actually a throw in, but. Uh, Goes nicely to the collection. And this was the, the buy it now. I feel like I might have overpaid. But, you know, perfect baseball card. Koji, Koji Uihara. Uh, final out World Series. Uh, autographed. Um, you know, I don't care if I ever get another Koji Uehara baseball card, because that one's just perfect. It's uh, 
you know, it was the greatest moment to me. You know, pitch the out, win the World Series, um, especially after the dumpster fire of the 2012 Red Sox brothers, uh, you know, uh, I think the team song was a starter from the bottom, now we're here. Um, so, fun memories. And yeah, this will. Uh, moving on. Here we get into some. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Speckled Rainbow, Connor McDavid. MVP Superscripts, Connor McDavid, out of 25. Of the hollow foil. And the neon dry sidle. Mouth guard. You know, just dangling out the side of the mouth. Uh, this is also out of 25. Uh, MVP 25th anniversary uh, retro. Very minimalist on the back. So let's stick that there. Um, and Connor McDavid, SP. Start to notice. Like, I, I don't mind collecting limited cards, but tarped off seats are kind of annoying. So, kind of look at it, and this may go into the. Uh, the cull pile. Um, next up, uh, exquisite gold out of 99. It's also an exquisite gold spectrum out of 25. Now, I have a couple of the other exquisite golds which are out of 10, and uh, but uh, this card is awesome because. It also captures McDavid with his mouth guard. Not not in his mouth. And he's involved in the play. So, but uh, kind of annoying that the a rare card is now 99. I was able to snag it, I'm sure, because of that. But kind of annoying. And then finally, uh, cards that are near and dear to my heart. Uh, E.D. Stature um, from because of the release dates I want to say this this is all messed up this is the 2020-21 uh, Stature but a Ryan Nugent Hopkins out of 20 You know, Neon Dry Sidle and with his mouth scarred, not properly in his mouth. If you know, you know. And of course, Connor McDavid. So, thinking about doing the prospects, uh, I believe it's Stuart Skinner, uh, Broberg, uh, Tyler Benson, and somebody else, but I can't remember. So, I go after the team set. Weird thing though, uh, previous year they're out of 15, whereas this year they're out of 20. So not as rare, but uh, definitely rarer parallels. So let's see if I can get rid of that glare. There we go. Well, there you have it. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody that's watching, and uh, as Ed Wesker Griff says, uh, get amongst it, y'all. <laughs>